hey before we get into the video i just wanted to let you guys know that once we get into the movie review portion of the video i stray away from talking about specific scenes in detail because i wanted to leave some of my thoughts or jokes for the actual movie commentary that i'll be doing later on once the movie is out of theaters so if you're wondering why i don't go into depth about certain scenes that is why this video is more focused on the book but since i already watched the movie i wanted to throw in my thoughts about that as well. Anyways, hope you guys like it. Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video that is sort of different from what I usually do. Usually I do movie commentaries, reactions, stuff like that. Today I'm going to be taking it back to my review times. I don't know, I used to do a lot of movie reviews and by a lot I mean like three. I did one for Love, Simon. I did one for To All The Boys Love For, Come By Your Name, Crazy Rich Asians, The Greatest Showman. Um, this is what I used to do because I did not know how movie reactions worked. I was like, I can't do that. Like, <laughs> copyright. And now I'm like, you know what? Fuck copyright. Like, I know the law, baby. <laughs> Ew. So today I'm going to be doing a little review of the movie after. I will be doing a commentary once I have the movie because right now it's still in theater. So once it's out of theaters and it is on DVD or online, I will be doing a commentary to it. But I just had the sudden urge to like do a review on it. Um, so this past week I was reading the book. Sparks fly and preparing myself for the movie because I was like, okay, you know what? I don't want to shit on a movie if I don't know the whole story, especially for this one where there's a lot of controversy around it. I really wanted to find out on my own what it is all about. Look at the writing, look at the plot, look at all that kind of stuff. Movie commentary for after will be out once I can find it online to watch. We're gonna give a quick brief summary of this whole after franchise sort of thing. After is a movie based off of a book which is based off of a fan fiction on Wattpad. So I know, it's already confusing. Anna Todd is the author of this. She wrote this One Direction fan fiction on Wattpad and it went pretty <gasps> viral. Most people know about it. Um, it's a smutty sort of fan fiction. A summary of the plot is kind of Harry Styles is a all a British boy. Yeah, that's just Harry Styles in general. This girl Tessa is like a virgin. Touched for the very first time she gets tainted by <laughs> Harry Styles' dirty mind and it's really that's basically the plot. I read the fan fiction and then I skipped over the book because I wanted to see if there was a huge difference and plot wise it's pretty much the exact same thing other than the ending and the writing is just better it's a little bit more put together the Wattpad is literally like reading a rough draft um, but since I read a little bit of the book the real book I skimmed over it I saw that the main plot points were all the same so I was like okay I don't need to read the whole book <laughs> like I get it they changed his name from Harry to Harden it's, it's great I haven't even started the video yet I'm going to be talking about the book first fan fiction and then I'm gonna be talking about the movie later so like yeah 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 um spoilers obviously I'm gonna be referring to it as a book because that's what it is but just keep in mind that I read the fan fiction first of all the characters are really annoying <laughs> None of the characters are really that developed or interesting in any way. Tessa plays into the I'm a virgin, I'm innocent, I don't know the world, I grew up in a small town, I'm just a small town girl, um, I'm not like other girls. She kind of is really annoying, she cries a lot uh, for no fucking reason. Main guy Harden or Harry just like says hello and she's like I could feel the tears well of the night. She doesn't have an accent. Yeah, she plays into this like I'm not like most girls. I'm sheltered and I am innocent. That's really fun and original. Oh. In the book she's always judging other people like oh, that girl wore a short skirt. What a fucking slut. And I'm like okay chill. Like it's it's really not that big of a deal. You're so annoying. Like, like I don't know. She just did the whole thing. She's like, oh, there were sluts on his arms. I was like, okay, like I get it. Like you're jealous, but like, can you chill with the whole slut shaming thing? Like, it's old. I think the main guy Harden is. Uh, he's just a little dick. 
But the fact that he was supposed to be like Harry Styles and someone was like, I'm gonna write Harry Styles as a little fucking shit, like it just seems weird to me. Like I'm gonna write him as this horny monster evil man. <laughs> How do you like look at like your favorite like celebrity and you're like, you know what? I'ma write them as a little shit. <laughs> like, I don't get it. He's very like manipulative, almost psychotic at some point. She's like, I could see the anger flash in his eyes. And I'm like, okay, like, okay, literally nothing happened. And he's like throwing a fit. And it's like, I don't know why like anger management issues are very popular among like little girls. They're like, you know what? I want a man with anger management problems. I can fix him. It's like, okay, y'all are fucking crazy. Like, I don't get it. Like, why Why is that like a thing? Like, why do people like that? Like, why do people, like, I don't fucking understand. Like, it really doesn't make any sense to me, like, why she looks, she was like, that's Harry Styles. Ooh, I love Harry Styles. Let's make him an asshole. It's even weirder when it switches to his point of view because it's like it's just like oh i feel so bad and blah, blah 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 it's almost like the author is trying to manipulate the audience as well to feel bad for him like sorry sis like i really don't give a fuck about him like plot wise it is one of the most groundhog day like plots ever and what i mean by that is that she writes the same fight scene over and over the same climax the same downfall the same like makeup it is the most <laughs> i'm like getting angry because i actually read that it was like every like 10 chapters the same scene would happen it'd be like oh we just shared this really intimate moment and then harden stopped like liking for her and started ignoring her she got really angry he's like tessa no 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 she's like no i cannot play this game anymore and then he's like what do you mean and then she's like i'm done and then he's like well let me do something sexual to you and then she's like all right and then they make up again and then it literally repeats that same scene happens about 10 times um i don't know why i don't know why she couldn't think of a better conflict to happen and then after they get their like apartment and they're like officially together i guess it gets even more annoying because now instead of being like oh you know i'm sick of playing this game hard and blah 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 his like immediate thing is like you know what i've never done this whole relationship thing before yeah and that happens about five times again like i'd <sighs> you should not have that many repeats in a plot like it should not happen i don't know if it's different in the book again i didn't read the book but in the fan fiction it keeps happening the same conflict same fight same conversation and i was just like get go somewhere else the plot twist at the end of the book I didn't think it was that bad. I thought it was kind of like a, ooh, a little plot twist, but she foreshadows too much. <laughs> a little too much foreshadowing with Tessa in every single fight saying, oh, I don't want to play this little game with you anymore, Harden. And he's like, ooh. just the use of game. She says it too much. And then it's revealed at the end that it was a little game. It's like, okay, like you foreshadowed a little too much. It's like, <sighs> We don't need that, like it's fine. Again, it could be different in the book that was from the fan fiction, so I don't know if she chilled on that part. I actually did quite like the, you know, when they reveal that, oh, it's a bet. Again, it kind of foreshadows a little too much with this whole like, Harden, where are you getting the money? And he's like, I won't tell you, but just know that I'm getting it. And he's like paying for all of her stuff and giving last payment to the dorm before she leaves and paying for the apartment and everything. And then she's like, oh, he's getting the money from the bets that were placed when he won when he did stuff with me. Like, okay, that wasn't that bad, but a little, a little too much focus on where he was getting the money. It was kind of like, where is he getting the money from? Like, can you figure it out? Like, okay, like, I get it, it's a little bet. I understand how bets work. Like For the main part of this whole thing, which would be like the sex scenes, I just thought they were comical. I thought they were really funny. They're, the lake scene is probably my favorite thing that I've ever read in my entire life. It was, the, it was so fucking funny. There's literally like so many just amazing, just little lines in the books from the sex scenes that are just so funny. Cause she's like, his hand trailed down the valley of my breast. And I was like, Okay, 
Like that scene was, it was so funny. And she was like, oh, do you have a condom? And then he's like, oh no, we're not gonna have sex today. And it's like, oh wow, like, what is going on? And then in like the end, <laughs> when like the plot twist happens and he like takes the sheet from when she lost her virginity and like saves it, I'm like, y'all make me sick. Yo, this guy's fucking gonna turn into a serial killer. Like what the fuck? Like literally what in the world? That's why I say he's like psychotic because who the fuck does that? And like the fact that in like, the book she the author tries to make it seem like oh like Harden's like this good guy he's just a little bit troubled but like troubled people don't do that <laughs> people can have traumatic past and still be a decent human being like I don't know <laughs> like we gotta stop blaming everyone's shitty personality on their traumatic past like I think the reason this is so bad, the main reason, as we know, is that it, the fanfiction was a fanfiction of One Direction and One Direction are real people and this fanfiction went so viral and, and even was published as a book and that's using their names and their lives as like key plot points or stuff like that. It just seems a little bit weird to me. I don't think writing fanfiction about real people is okay. Some people might disagree with me. I don't think it's okay because I think that's, especially something like in the case like this, where this then got turned into the book, that's still always gonna be attached to Harry Styles, even though Harry Styles had nothing to do with it and he's a real person. I just think that's weird. Yeah, I think fan fiction of fictional characters is a okay. Do whatever you want, that's great. But when it comes to real people, I kind of feel uncomfortable by it because that is someone's real life that you're turning into whatever story you want and in this case someone read it and was like let's publish this shit and I don't understand why like there were so many punctuation errors in it like girl where's the comma where is it find it find the ending quotation mark please that was my thoughts on the books. I'm really not that good at reviewing books just because I don't really know how to put my thoughts together when it comes to books because for me it's a lot more to remember than when I watch a movie because it's like okay when you're reading a book you probably read it you know maybe in a day but you're not gonna read like a book in like a few hours. Some people do but I don't read it in a few hours so I read this over the course of a couple days so like some stuff gets a little foggy and I don't remember everything rather than with a movie where you watch it in like an hour and a half to two hour span it's kind of easy to remember so yeah that's why my book reviews are a little like questionable like who is she I don't know if you love this book that is totally fine um, I can see how someone maybe younger than me would like it even though I don't think anyone younger than me should be reading it because it's a little bit graphic and a little bit <laughs> A little bit spicy in the you know in the sexual content in it but I can see how someone younger would be like oh my god he's a bad boy that needs to be fixed and he's British and oh my goodness and he's based off Harry Styles I pray for those girls that actually really do enjoy the book because uh, none of my business is none of my business I'm scared for them for their future relationships. I really am. If this is what they like and they really are into the manipulative, scary guys, I pray for you because you're gonna need it. <laughs> Who likes it when someone's mean to them? Like, I don't like that. Like, that makes me feel bad. But I'm a cancer. Maybe, maybe a different zodiac sign would love that. But I'm a little cancer baby. I'm a little too sensitive for someone to just be straight mean to me and then be like, oh, I love you. Like, that's a little much for me. Now we're gonna move on to the movie. What are you doing? <sighs> I think you owe me a death. The movie I watched and I was expecting something really awful and painful to watch and honestly I didn't really think it was that bad. I don't think it was nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Like I really thought it was gonna be so like 50 shades of gray level which like in some senses it was but i really was watching it and i was like i mean it's not good but i can honestly understand a lot of like 14 year old girls loving 
this movie. It kind of reminded me of A Walk to Remember, but a bad version of that, like not as good as A Walk to Remember, but it had kind of that similar plot of a bad boy and a good girl and blah, 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 very fine, but without the cancer. I'll take A Walk to Remember, hold the cancer, please. <laughs> That's so messed up. Talking about it without talking about the book, I don't think it's that bad of a film. I think it's a little bit of a bland story. Nothing too crazy about the way it was shot or the way it was edited. Nothing is just like typical blockbuster teen film. Acting was not the best. It wasn't, uh, there were some parts. He was pursuing her. She's clearly not satisfied with her life and is looking for excitement wherever she can get it. Well, I think that it's obviously all in his head that she had any feelings for him at all. There were some parts where I was really like, and there were some parts where I was like, okay, like that wasn't that bad. I kind of don't judge people too much on their acting, especially these two when they don't really have that much of a like resume of films that they've done. If they had a bunch of films that they've already done and they still were kind of like, ooh, a little rocky on it, then I'd be like, ooh. But you know what? This is their first like big film. Like I get it. Yeah, so I was kind of like, okay, the acting isn't amazing, but like, it's not the worst. Josephine Langford is Catherine Langford's La Longford? Langford? I don't know. She's her sister, and I did not- I literally found that out today, and I was like, wow. Um, I can see it. <laughs> I think she's so pretty. Both of them are pretty. Um, the boy- Hero? His name is Hero, and honestly, makes my standards for him higher. If your name is Hero, be a motherfucking hero, you know? If your name is Hero, be a motherfucking hero. What's his younger sibling called? Loser? Villain? I don't know. He kind of annoyed me. It seemed like he was trying to make his voice deeper. What are you dreaming about? You know how in The Greatest Showman, Zac Efron makes his voice lower? I feel like that's what this guy was doing. Like, it almost seemed like he was turning up his, like, you know, deep doc voice and like he was making his voice like deeper and maybe even a little bit more British, which I don't know how that is possible because his natural voice is really, really British. And I think he like turned it up. Like he was like, you want British? I'll give you motherfucking British, you know? <laughs> what are you dreaming about? Also, he plays young Tom Riddle in Harry <gasps> Potter and that was it for me. Like that, I could I couldn't go back. Like. After I found that out, like, you can't go back. Like, if Daniel Radcliffe has to be Harry Potter for the rest of his fucking life in every single film, then you have to be Tom Riddle. Like, you can't escape that. You- no one can escape their Harry Potter roles. If you are in Harry Potter, you're always gonna be that character, and I'm sorry to break it to you, but that's- that's the price, okay? Um, I don't want to shit on the actors too much because I don't think they're that bad. Um, a lot of people are like, why would they take these roles? And I'm kind of like, okay, like, they're upcoming actors. They don't really have that much. If they auditioned for it and got it, um, they're probably just happy to have a job. You auditioned or got casted to be in a movie based off of a One Direction fanfic. You probably already got a lot coming at you. So I won't add to it, you know? I already have added to it. I, this whole video is me shitting on this whole franchise. Oh my god, I loved in the movie that they changed Tristan from a boy to a girl, like, lesbian rights. That was the best part of the whole movie, was the fact that Stephanie was with a girl. Here we go, lesbians, come on! Um, I liked that they knocked down the foreshadowing a little bit. <laughs> the book was so heavy in foreshadowing that it was so obvious what was gonna happen. This one... Kept the foreshadowing a little bit at a low, um, cut it down a little bit. Biggest ones would be the money thing and then the recording at the beginning because you knew that was going to come back into play with Molly filming everything. I think going back to the acting on Josephine's part, I didn't think she was that bad, but there were some parts where I was like, ooh. There's part where she like tells him, she's like, you're a liar. And she goes, she goes, she goes, she goes you're a liar. <laughs> and I literally cracked up because the... I don't know why they were like, they made her say it like that, but like, it was so funny. Cause she was just like, she was talking to her mom and then she was like, you're a liar. <laughs> I mean, like, I lost it. I was like, what just mouse, Mickey Mouse girl, what happened? Um, the sex scenes really weren't bad. They, I mean, they were, but not as bad as I was expecting. His talking in it really is what like, sends you over the edge. <laughs> thought that you just wanted to be friends. I don't think we can ever be just friends. Cause I just wanna... If he just like kept his mouth shut 
and didn't talk, then everything would be like a little bit, you know, better, a little bit, ooh. But then he like opens his mouth and you're like, okay, I just realized what's happening and I have to go. I literally have to go, um, my ride is here. Mom, can you come pick me up? And there really weren't that many. I think what there was like two or three. Yeah, not as bad as I thought they were gonna be until they gave him lines. Shouldn't have done that. And like, they kind of make her breathe too much. Like, I mean like, okay, we gotta breathe, but they like focus in on her being like, <gasps> Like gasping, and it's like, okay, like I get it. Like, she's a virgin, she's touch for the very first time, touch for the first time, like a virgin. And I much would have preferred them do a little you know, like a virgin performance, like they did on Glee when they lost their virginity. That would have been great. But they didn't even lose their virginity, only Finn did. I'm glad that both of the endings end up with them not getting together because they shouldn't. The movie ends with him giving her like a letter, like. Bro, this ain't to all the boys I love before. But it's still, at the end, it was like trying to portray him as like, oh, even though he did all this stuff, he's not a bad person. Like, with the book and the movie, it just both tries to portray him as like, you should forgive this character, blah, 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 blah. Like, trying to manipulate the audience to feel bad for him. And I'm like, okay, not gonna happen. We all saw JK Rowling try to do that to us with freaking Snape. And we're not falling for it again. You try to manipulate me to feel bad for these characters when there's little pieces of shit and they don't deserve forgiveness. I'll tell you that. I don't know. I feel like there's ways to write these types of characters and I think she just missed the mark on that one because it doesn't show that he's growing or anything. It just shows that he's becoming better at manipulating her and being like, oh, you little fucking bitch. And then he's like, wait, Tessa, I have nightmares. And it's like, okay, literally fuck off. Like, you deserve to have nightmares, bitch. The movie, like, we were expecting the worst and, you know, we got a tame version of it and, you know what, I'm grateful for that. So, I don't know, I guess it just depends on your perspective of the film and when you're watching it um, and your personal standards. A lot of this stuff comes from personal preference. Personally, I don't like the whole, like, I'm not like other girls trope. I think it's really overplayed. It's really annoying to me. I don't like it when people are like, you don't need makeup to feel beautiful and you're like, blah, 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 blah. like, she doesn't know how to put on makeup. Blah. And like, she, she wears a freaking moo moo, and like, it's okay, I get it. Like, she's conservative, she's virgin, she's blah blah, she's innocent. It's really um, annoying to me, but that's my personal preference. One of the things I do like is a enemies to lovers trope, but I feel like they go from enemies to lovers real quick, so it doesn't really good portray a good enemies to lovers trope. I would have liked it if it was a good enemies to lovers trope, but it was not. Most of these are personal preference. You can have whatever opinion you want about it. It's all subjective. It's a movie, it's a book. You can like it, you can hate it, you can think it's okay. It's all up to you. Um, just because I put my opinions in a video form does not mean that they are higher than yours. Just because I film them doesn't mean that they matter. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on this movie and book in the comment section down below. Are you one of the people that really like it? Do you not like it? Do you like the movie and hate the book? Do you like the book, hate the movie? Let me know. Um, do you think it's odd that it is based off of a real person, Harry Styles? Like, do you think that is weird? Are you okay with it? Are you not okay with it? I really want to hear all of your opinions about after the book and the movie because it's very controversial. Controversial. Con contr whatever controversial it's very controversial there's a lot of different opinions on it there is a huge fan base and also a huge like boycott of it or i don't know boycott but people that don't like it so i want to know where your opinion lies personally i wasn't a fan of either i can see how more people would like the movie because it is a little bit more tame it's not as painfully it's not as painful to um take in uh, as the book because the book is kind of like oh my god like we're really reading these graphic details of them having sex and like the same fight is happening over and over again oh wow but yeah subscribe if you want to see more videos from me let me know if you want to see more videos like this don't worry I will be doing a commentary for after once it is out of theaters but I really wanted to do a review style for it while it's in theaters because I want to know everyone's thoughts give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you didn't like it Leave a comment, tell me why. I wanna know why you didn't like it, uh, whether it was just your opinions different from mine, you didn't like this style of uh, a review. I don't know. I wanna hear all of your little opinions. Cause I just shouted my opinions at you for too long, so 
give all your opinions to me. And if you want to be notified every single time I post a video, turn on the notifications bell as well. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye! I can